All right, another technique for developing latent fingerprints is through the use of iodine. And we have a, a couple methods that we can use. I'm going to just try one, and I'm going to basically show you the other one demonstration. But we have these uh, ampules here that are essentially um, iodine fuming wands. Along with that, we have a, uh, I'll get one of these ready because I'll need it here in a minute. This is uh, basically a, a chemical that will set the iodine print because the iodine print will initially appear yellow and it will fade rapidly. So if we do identify a, an, an iodine print, we're going to apply some of this to it and it will turn it black and it will set it permanent. So, the products that we use basically in, in our iodine fuming kit, there's two ampules contained inside this tube. Essentially when I'm going to iodine fume, I'm just going to break these. Iodine fuming works very well when you're talking about documents. Uh, harassing letters, bad or fraudulent checks, um, those types of things where somebody might have handled them, threatening letters and so forth. Uh, if I put fingerprint powder on paper, it's going to be very difficult to lift or raise or identify and it has a tendency to not work so well. I'm basically going to break these ampules, I'm going to mix these products together and then I always run out of air when I do this but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm basically going to blow air into this tube and it's going to put an iodine fuming out the end of the, the uh, tube here onto the paper and we should start to see prints develop. Run out of air. Now, those prints are visible from the iodine fumes. The longer they sit there, the more likely they are to fade. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this product here, um, pretty much the same application. Going to break the ampules. chance to mix. And basically we're just going to dab it and let it soak through the print. Now it may initially appear that it's causing it to disappear but that's just because of the moisture on the paper. As the moisture dries that print will be basically set relatively permanent in nature. Now let that sit there for a few minutes and you'll see as it dries it'll darken those latent prints and yet these ones the longer they sit here the more they will fade from the iodine chimney. Iodine is also available to us in capsules. These, are these come in little ampules. If we were going to use this type of form of iodine, we we'll simply break the glass ampule with a narrow neck and we would dump the iodine crystals onto the paper and we would sift them around and as they rolled across the latent fingerprints uh, they would tend to leave behind a, a similar visible latent by using the iodine crystals as opposed to the iodine fuming. I've had most success with the iodine fuming, especially when you're doing a, a threatening or harassing letter that's been sent to somebody. Um, so that's essentially what we would do. We would not uh, try and lift that. We would not try and take that print off of there. We would possibly put stretchy tape over top of it to protect it. Um, and we would send it to the lab in the, in the condition that it is right there. Basically all the tape does is provide a protective barrier to the fingerprint.